Welcome back everyone, Alex here again, and in this video, I am going to show you how to submit your song list into the new Level Music control room. I am also going to show you how to navigate through our available music catalogs. In the previous video, I showed you how to submit your team information, but as you can see, we still need to submit our song list. The first thing we are going to do is actually go back into the projects page, and we are going to go into the semi-original mix for Team Twisted. I will explain the importance of that at the end of the video, so definitely watch till the end. But for now, we'll continue on with the task at hand. Now that we are in the portal for Team Twisted, you will notice the same setup as before, including a blank song list. To start the process of song selection, you're going to click on the side tab labeled Music Catalogs, where you will find links to the available music websites. These sites have an abundance of great songs that New Level Music legally licensed for your mix. As a quick reminder, the websites listed under this tab are the only websites you can request songs from. Any outside song request, such as covers, cannot be used. Currently, there are two websites listed, Level 77 Music and Firstcom Music. Let's first check out Level 77. Once on the website, you'll see a bunch of different albums, along with a list of pages down the left side of your screen that will help you navigate throughout the site. Starting at the top, we have the Discover section. Here you will find a rotation of different albums, but if you scroll down, you will also see which tracks are trending, the current top 10 tracks, along with the newest albums on the site. The Browse section is where you will find every album available. Within these albums, you will be able to find genres such as pop, EDM, hip-hop, rock, and even things like show tunes in the album called The Classics. The albums are also in order of release, so as you scroll down, you will begin to find the newer uploads. On the Charts page, this is where you'll find the most popular downloads. This page will be helpful if you're looking to get an idea of what songs or styles are trending. But it can also be useful if you're a coach and you are aiming to use songs that aren't as widely used. And finally, we have the new releases page. This page is pretty self-explanatory, but you will find the most recent albums that have been added to the site. The one difference between this page and the browse page is that the newest releases are at the top, and as you scroll down, you will find the albums that have been out for a little while longer. Now to find songs, and also listen to them, all you have to do is simply choose an album and click on it. Battleground EDM sounds like an awesome choice, so let's check it out. Once you've opened up an album, you'll find all the songs it has to offer. You'll also notice a number next to each song. These are the song IDs and it's important to remember that you will need these when submitting your songs into the control room. To listen to a song, simply hover your mouse over it and click the play button. And as you just saw, you can simply just click the button again for the music to stop. The final feature on the website is the search bar. This is a real cool feature to have for any music catalog, as it allows you to narrow down what you are looking for. You can search for a specific song, artist, or album, but you can also use keywords, and Level 77 will show the songs most related to the topic. For example, we'll try the word victory and songs that are related to Victory will pop up. Now let's try something that can relate to a more specific topic, such as the word Crown. Here we see songs from an album called Take the Crown, along with an actual song called Crown. From the search page, we are going to click the song and it will bring us to the album. Once again, we will see all the songs it has to offer along with their song IDs. Now that we have a song in mind, let's submit it into the control room. To edit your song list, 
simply go back to the edit tab on the top of the info list, click it, and you'll see the edit project window pop back up. And at the bottom, you'll find the space labeled song list. Next, we are gonna go back to the Level 77 website, find the song that we want to request, and then type in the song ID number, followed by the song title. I think I'd like to add one more song from this website. So let's go back, find another song, and add that to the list as well. This time it's song Bounce, ID number 2110. Once you have typed in your songs, you click on the Save button, get the notification that your information has been saved, and when fully processed, it will pop up in the song list area of your info tab. Your producer will now be able to see the songs you've requested and begin to get them prepared for your mix. Now that we've gone through and selected songs from the Level 77 catalog, let's take a look at the other available website called Firstcom Music. The first page we are looking at is the Explore page. This is where you will be able to explore through sections such as new releases and even specific genres. As you can see, there are a bunch of other options to choose from as well. One thing to note is that you will be able to find these tabs at any time by simply hovering over the Explore tab at the top of the website. Let's check out some new releases. You'll notice that it's very similar to Level 77, where you will find a list of albums to choose from. In Firstcom, you will also have this tab that shows you new releases from each month, allowing you to continuously see what has come out recently. To find songs, once again, you can simply just click on an album, and the entire song list will pop up. The final feature I'm going to show you is the search bar. One of the coolest aspects of this one is that you can define what you are searching for by clicking on this down arrow. You'll see that you can search by keyword, track title or composer, and also lyrics, which is pretty cool to have as an option. Just choose what type of search you want to do and type in the words you'd like to search for. In this example, we're going to do a keyword search for EDM, and we'll see what pops up. As you see, we have songs that have EDM in their titles, a themed playlist that has songs that fall into the EDM category, and albums that have EDM in their titles. Let's check out the album, My Level EDM, Volume 3. Just like every album, you will see the songs listed like this. To listen to the song, once again, all you need to do is hover over the play button and click it. A toolbar will appear at the top where you can skip through the song and also control the play and pause function. Another cool feature about Firstcom is that if you click on the song title, you can find a little more information about the song, including the lyrics. Not all songs have this tab, but if they do, you will have the ability to see all the lyrics in case you need clarification on what something says, or if you're looking for specific words. To exit, just simply click on the X on the top right corner of the lyric sheet. If you recall in level 77, both the song title and the song ID codes were on the left side of the page. In Firstcom, you will find the song ID code on the right side of the page. And remember, you will need this code when submitting your songs. Now that we are back in the control room, Let's go ahead and hit the edit button and get our project window opened up. As you can see, the level 77 songs that we filled out earlier are still saved. We'll head back to the website, find the song ID, along with the song title, and repeat the same steps we earlier saw in the video. Once again, We'll snag one more song. This one is called Our Standing Ovation, ID EVO 306-2. Definitely let us know if you'd like a specific song 
for a specific section, such as stunt or dance. And also let us know if there's a specific part of the song you'd like to use as well. To ensure accuracy, you can help your producer by labeling which website the songs come from. But this is just a recommendation and is not required. The song ID number is what will help us the most. Once your song list has been updated, go ahead and click Save, look for the notification in the upper right-hand corner, and boom, more songs have been submitted. Now, if you recall earlier in the video, I did not start in the portal for Team Twisted, and I am going to explain the importance of that now. I purposely switched out of the portal for Team Cuts, which was a full original X mix, and filled out the songs for Team Twisted, which is a semi-original mix. And here's why. All full original and full original X packages only contain music that is created by your producer and their production team. Whereas semi-original and semi-original plus packages contain legally licensed music from the catalogs listed within the new level music control room. So the two websites we explored today are truly only needed for semi-original mixes, which is something you can keep in mind when ordering and also when you're submitting your team's info. And that is how you navigate the music catalogs and submit your songs in the new level music control room. Thanks for watching and check back for more videos.